That looks like fun. Not really. Uh, thin piece of stainless I'm going to use to patch the hole in the top of the clean grain elevator. It's in the dead space. It's where the paddles throw it so it drops down into the auger. There's actually two holes there in the middle. One big enough to stick the end of my thumb in and the other one's just a just through enough there's a slot. And I got to thinking yeah, we screw it in with these screws. These happen to be stainless screws too, by the way. But stainless is kind of a bitch to drill, so I'm going to drill pilots in it. Not that I want to. But if I drill pilots here, it's a lot easier than fighting it up there. Either way, fun, fun. And uh, number one's moving the pumpkin out of the way, so her and number two can get the cows fed. They quit eating hay. We wouldn't. We'd, we'd have some for winter. And just got off the phone with Tom a little bit ago. And he is currently working on getting the pump and the panel wired back together. So hopefully he'll have that done today. But like he said, it's a Monday. And he's the only one in the shop. But so far it hasn't gone sideways. Interesting things happen once in a while. There's now an extra battery in here. I was checking fluid levels. And uh, just as I was getting done, kid pulls in the yard and number one went up and talked to him and he said, do you guys want? No, he didn't say that. What he told oh. me was that it's something, something it sounds about... like he wants us to deliver grain. Hmm. She can't even figure out how to latch. Hey, did you finally figure it out? Sure. Why don't you look at where it belongs? <sighs> Here, we'll show you how it goes. See, hooks there, latches over. Uh, crescent wrench is in the toolbox of the tractor you're working on. It's on the other side of it. Well, yeah, I put the 540 adapter on here to run the grain vac, which we were going to use to empty this thing out anyway, because I know we're going to make a big mess with the gap in the tailgate. But since they're bringing this in a little dump trailer that you really can't open the back end on without spilling everything, we're going to set the grain back up and run it into tote bags. Roughly 6,000 pounds of two-row malt barley that's clean and dry. We can run that through the grinder. She can't even find what I told her to look for. I guess i got to go do it. Now, there's two-row barley. broke up into powder. It's not itchy. It's kind of surprising. All folks being clean beforehand. That's bag number three. You might be getting a fourth bag. There we got it. Two are clear full. Actually probably a little over full. One's not quite full. But they're in here. And yeah, number two told me when I saw her. She says the driveway got ripped up. You can see we almost backed off the edge trying to back down so we get moving again. So, drop the pallet forks, put the bucket on, smooth it out. Yay! All I got's a bunch of short little clips for you today. That's okay, right? Short video works. And, oh, I suppose I could tell you this much. Talk to Tom. I don't know, 15, 20 minutes ago. It's been a Monday for him. He'll, be, he'll probably get out of the shop about two or three hours from now. Who knows? Um, he got it almost done. He says, you only got about an hour left to work on it. And it's together, our pump. Should have said that, huh? But, you know, I know how his day goes. He's squeezing it in here and there between things that he has to do. So, you know, only an hour to do on it, but it might take him four hours before it's done. He's supposed to call me in the morning and give me an idea when. Who knows, maybe he'll stay late and work on it tonight if he can get the other stuff done in time. So, hey, just another Monday. 
combine still sitting here. Blue truck still got. I was thinking there was about three tons on there, but I got to look and there's probably more like five tons on it that we got to put back in the other bin. And trailer's not hooked up yet. Yeah, the only good thing is, kind of like it's been, <laughs> no rain in the forecast. So, you know, we only got, you know, depending on how much trouble we have moving and how heavy it ends up running as to how much unloading we got to do. We've only got about three or four days of fallouts to do. And the spring outs, I should be able to get everything. We should be able to get everything up on the one hill where the fallouts is. Get all that done in one day. And move over to the other and get it done the next day. So there's only like two days of that. Worst thing is moving because we got to split everything up to move it. I, I just love seeing these videos on YouTube showing these combines with 30, 40 foot headers cruising right down the road. Mm -hmm. Guess what? They can fit in between the power poles. Even though the road's only 10 feet wide, they still fit between the power poles. They can get around the bridges too because the bridges aren't too tall and too narrow. Yeah, makes me really wish we were somewhere we didn't have to drop the header just to move 10 feet to another field. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm going to smooth that up, call it a day. So thank you all for watching. You know, the normal, please like and subscribe. Um, Rock and Robbie shared a, another guy's channel, one of his videos this morning. and I checked it out, watched a couple of his videos, chatted with him a little bit. And, so I shared one. So if you look on my community page, you'll see it. I, I'd say the name of it, but, you know, I I don't remember exactly what it is. Guy in Tennessee, he's only got like 53 subs or something like that. Started like a month ago. Pretty good little channel from what I've seen so far. So check him out. And there was another one I just subscribed to the other day. and He subbed back to me, and I can't remember what the name of it is. Oh, yeah. You know, I just get to see notifications will tell me. Then I can watch their videos. I'll figure out who it is sooner or later. I've only been subbed for a couple of days. So, all right. Thanks for watching, everybody.